Hello and welcome again. It's just a short video today, very much a diary look at the tank before I'm going to make a few changes to it. We went to AAC yesterday and you may see the pyjama wrasse swimming around there. He was on my list, a good workhorse and if he can find a pest in there it's in his stomach which is wonderful. We also got the Midas Lenny which you can see just underneath the right hand Goniopora. He's sitting in the rock there having a good look around. Calling him Ginger and just below him on the left there's Fred. Calling him a, 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 I think it's a neon dotty bag. Utterly gorgeous when we saw him. He, he was just, well, took our breath away quite frankly. And when the, the lights ramp up properly, the, the blues and yellows on him were absolutely pop. Gorgeous. Swims a little bit like the Midas Blenny as well. And they had a good look at each other when we put them in there, but they seem absolutely fine. Underneath Wembley Stadium, you probably won't be able to see him, he's uh, <laughs> hiding under there still, is a fox face low or a one spot fox face, which is, I think it gets up to about nine inches, so he's okay for this tank. And it's just amazing how quickly the colours can change on him or her, but let's call him a him for the moment. Um, I think he's also called a ghost fish because when the colours do fade away they're very camouflaged and against this rock you could hardly see him. But he went in, he was distressed as you'd expect, his colours were quite dimmed and then he started to colour up, became yellower and yellower, got his full colours. He ventured out a little bit but not too far, seems very timid still. But once he gets his fins under him, he'll be all over that tank. But he's under Wembley Stadium at the moment, staying in the same place, just watching what's going on. He's got his colour back, so he's woken up. He seems okay from that point of view. So later today, he will be, I hope, popping out. But you can also see just on the top of Wembley Stadium, there is a green tip torch. Just look at that beauty. Look at the colours on it. Look at the way it's just moving. It's really marvellous. This is one reason I like um, LPS, large polyp stony corals, rather than the SPS, small polyp stony corals. I like to see this movement, it catches my eye, it's something to look at, it's interesting for me. I've changed the flow slightly, the recirculating pump number one, top left hand corner, I've actually moved it over or adjusted it over to the right of the tank there's more flow moving over to the right but it still has plenty of flow in that left hand area but it means that that gold tip torch is not getting so much flow on the top of Wembley Stadium which I also think is helping the hammers I think there might have been just a little bit too much flow there for them but just behind that gold uh, not behind to the left of the gold tip sorry the green tip torch on Wembley Stadium there's the hammer it's a two head hammer and just to the left of that you won't be able to see it but it is going to be moved I only popped it in there yesterday as Barry AAC said it's a two and a half head hammer uh, and uh, they let me choose a hammer for free because it's my birthday soon and there's a gesture nice gesture of them I have to say um, they gave me this hammer of my choice lovely beautiful little thing slightly different to the other two I have so that's what I'm looking for the frog spawn seems to be opening more and more. I'm going to be moving that frog spawn. It's got a nice high stem on it. I'm thinking maybe putting it down onto the sand bed. I'm not sure whether the flow will be too much for it down there, but we'll see. That gives me more room on Wembley Stadium. The Goniopora, the top one, just to the right of that, is going to be the actual showpiece of the tank. We saw it yesterday and birthday present for me, a gold torch, very, very rare. And 
Wow, what a size. It is a beauty. He's lying on his side at the moment because I had to put him in there and he's not on the plug. And he's going to be absolutely perfect for, I think, anyway, as things stand at the moment, the horseshoe rock on the left where I've got the gold stem torch on its side. The gold torch has got a very similar length, if not slightly longer length, calcium uh, skeleton to it so that can go on to that on its side uh, to encourage more heads and also so we can see it but getting closer to it it's lovely gold and it will become more gold I believe as time goes on so I think we're pretty well there now on the fish corals going to be moved around. We also got a very small up near the, just uh, well, so above the green tip torch, you can see the slight red there. That is a short stemmed red goniopora, just below Fred there. There we go, below the orchid dotty back by his tail and Fred having a look. It's lovely to see Fred out and about investigating everything. And it's settling in well. And also, now that I've changed the flow slightly, the uh, papaya flow, you can see all the heads open now, fully open. Uh, there's not so much flow on them. And I counted this morning 16 heads. Great. So if that's happy there, it will soon be growing on the rock. So all in all, everything's nice. I've noticed this morning a couple of the cobweb type diatoms reappearing but we are still cycling. It's gonna be quite a while before it's finished, I'm sure. But everything is still rosy in the garden, as it were. Everything's settling down. Things will be moved, so potentially my next vlog might see some things in different places. If you have watched this far, once again, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.